Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hungry Bachelor. Today we're making some classic comfort food, Guinness Beef Stew. It's a snap to prepare and it tastes delicious. Let's get started. For this recipe, we'll be using tomato paste, beef stock, Guinness, stewing beef, thyme and bay leaf, potato, carrot, garlic, onion, and some Worcestershire sauce. Our meat was already in bite-sized pieces, so we'll start by roughly chopping our onion. Nothing fancy here, we just want some smallish pieces. Next, we'll cut up one potato into bite-sized pieces. I'm leaving the skin on, but of course, feel free to peel it off if that's your jam. I'm going to add two carrots to this, and again, I'm not peeling them, just chopping them into bite-sized pieces. And finally, we'll chop up one clove of garlic. Alright, we're all prepped. Let's start cooking. Although we're starting on the stovetop, we'll be cooking this mostly in the oven, so I'm going to set this to 300 degrees. We've brought a stainless steel pan to medium heat, to which I'll add some olive oil and then my onions. We'll cook these down for 3 or 4 minutes before we add our beef. I'm just looking to brown the edges of this beef, not cook it all the way through, so we're looking at just 4 or 5 minutes. Next, we'll add a little salt and some freshly cracked black pepper for seasoning. Alright, I'm ready to add my carrots and my garlic. So we're going to add two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. We'll stir this up to ensure everything gets coated well, and then we'll let it cook for three or four minutes to start caramelizing. Alright, now we're going to add the star of the show, our Guinness. This will give us a nice, deep, rich flavor, and will also thicken slightly to give us a good stew-like consistency. Now we'll just bring this up to a boil to ensure that we cook off all of the alcohol. For our final ingredients, we'll add the potato, a splash of Worcestershire sauce, some fresh thyme, and some bay leaf. Now you can definitely chop the thyme or strip the leaves off, but this stuff is so fresh, I don't mind throwing in the whole stock. And finally, we'll top this up with some beef stock so that the ingredients are almost completely covered. And that's it. We'll cover this and put it in the oven for about two and a half hours. So two and a half hours has passed. I think our meat should be perfectly cooked. Let's plate this up and see how it tastes. And there you have it, comfort food at its finest. Guinness Beef Stew. For the full recipe, visit thehoggybachelor.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos coming soon.